Hello, <laughs> from a bit of a, a warm, sweaty faced bry. Shortish video, really, this is. Um, yeah, shortish video. I had somebody say, uh, What do I think about the current riots? Well, I don't really think a lot about them, not really. We should all have our thoughts, our opinions, our own ideas, all of us. Because it's, you know, we've got free thought, we might as well use it. Um, I think, it, for me, I think it was obvious. Uh, we had Richie Sunak, his five pledges. And his first pledge was, I'm going to stop the boats. Never did, had no intention. And... Uh, Anyway, they've slung him out, so now we've got Star, Starlin. I like to call him Starlin. We've got President Starlin. He says he's going to stop the boats. He never will. So it's obvious, isn't it? If you can't get an appointment with the National Health, if you have to wait 18 months for treatment for cancer, come on, Bode. If you have to, um, if you can't get your child into the local school, if you can't get a house because of, you know, illegal, they're not just immigrants, no, but I don't think anybody's got a problem with immigration. Illegal immigrants committing a crime by coming here in a boat. They get housed. You don't, your daughter won't, nobody else will. They get £5,000. You won't. Nobody will. They get a free mobile phone. They get a push bike. They get food. They get a hotel. Five star in many cases. And I think what's happened is people are just fed up. They are just saying, no, enough. How many more prime ministers or government ministers can say, we're going to stop the boats? Well, now the people are speaking and the people are saying, look, we have had enough. Whether it's right or wrong, and actually I think it's the wrong way, I think violence doesn't really do anything, apart from make you look like an arsehole, but what else have you got? Oh, Bode! Bode! Bodie! Hello! I had a push bike, I thought. Oh, maybe not. I thought he stopped because Bodie was there. Let's have a look. Might give me a mouthful, that make for a good video. Because I will give the mouthful back. No. Nobody there. So whether you like it or not, the people have spoken. And uh, Stalin has put his dictator's hat on and said... You're going to regret this. We're going to come round your house. We're going to give you a bunch of fives, he said. And you can flick you in the eye. Quite chop you on the back of the fucking neck. He has caused a lot of this. By saying we want to make sure that mosques are safe. And that foreigners are safe. And... Uh, there's no racial tension and that Islam or Muslim or whatever, they're all called, I've no idea. It doesn't interest me either way. Uh, not being harmed in any way. But not once did he say about his own people, apart from saying there's a small minority of right-wing bastards. He might not have said that word. Uh, and when you look at it, it's everybody. It's loads of people. Come here, boat. It's everybody. People have just had enough. And, and I mean people. Come here, please. I've got Bodie on the lead. Because there's a couple of dogs. One of them ran through this mucky water. I'll call it mucky. Hiya. Good boy. Thank you. Keep going. 
Look at them poor old ducks over there. Look at them. Yeah, so anyway, that's about my thoughts on it, really. It's got to happen. It has to happen because there's only so much crap that you can take from whatever government um, saying... Oh, dear. Hold on. Get past these. Sorry. Morning, that's all right. <laughs> Come on. Aggressive, small <laughs> yeah. Come on, my love. Um, yeah, it does have to happen, whether you like it or not. I don't like the violence. I don't like smashing things up. I don't see the point in all that rubbish. I just got to pull my trousers up. No good walking along with a bare ass. I've heard of advertising, but that's fucking ridiculous. So by taking this action, I mean, let him call you a, a bloody right-wing thug. You're not. You're just an ordinary person. You ain't got a clue what you're talking about. But by taking this course of action, they will, and they are, pricking their ears up thinking, oh shit, what can we do? We've done something wrong here. Can't slag the British off forever. We cannot spend eight million what was it, eight million a day on hotels and then tell old age pensioners they're not going to get any money to heat their properties this winter. You cannot treat people like that. It's just wrong. So, what's my thoughts on it? Not a lot, you know, I can't be bothered have a lot of thoughts but of course I do we all do or should um, when will it stop I don't know as I'm making this video we've only had a couple of weekends of it and uh, this is August I don't know what the date is but early August should we call it the 5th about the 5th of August 4th of August it might be so not sure when you'll see this but where are we going? But when you do, it'll be a, perhaps another weekend will have gone by and uh, thousands more will join these protests and what have you. And they will. And uh, sadly there will be more damage, more upset until something happens. So how do we stop it? It's very, very simple. We stop the boats, do what they've been saying for years, stop the boats and start deporting. If you come here over the sea in a dinghy, that's a crime. You are a criminal. You don't belong in this country. So you get deported back to wherever you came from. Even if that cost us money. If they come from France, put them on a flight. If it costs 50 quid, 70 quid, whatever, it's back to France, that costs 60, 70, 80 quid. Surely that's better than putting them up in a hotel for five years at uh, eight billion pounds a day. Not eight billion for the hotel room, you understand, but um, do you know what? I, don't, I haven't got a clue where I am. Not a bloody clue. Uh, anyway. I think. No, it's not. Then you else is here. So it's not. I am in the wrong place. <laughs> hey, never mind. I just stand here and enjoy the bubbling water. Just for a minute. So, yeah, there are ways of stopping these boats and. We need a border force, we need a proper um, coastal thing. Yeah, we can stop the boats, deport the people, and that way we get appointments at the National Health, we get homes, we get school places, and it goes on and goes on. We get our country back. 
Uh, there you go. Okay then. Because I'm a bit lost. Morning. Because I'm a bit lost, I'm going to try and find my way slowly back. And uh, that's my thought on the current situation. And you can think whatever you want to think. I think these days it's more important for me to get out on a bimble than to get overly involved in politics. Whatever we do in life, politics affects everything. So that's why we've got our own thoughts, ideas and our opinions and stuff like that. Anyway, so think what you like. Take care and be well. Hello.